Okay, today students will subtract tens from two digit numbers. And just like we talked about with addition, we do want kids to think about this two different ways. The first way is by counting backwards, and the second way is by just taking tens from tens and counting up what's left. Open by reminding students that we subtract like things. We subtract ducks from ducks, and broccoli from broccoli, and cars from cars. And yesterday we explored subtracting tens from tens. Well, today we're gonna think about how we can subtract tens from two digit numbers. Let me show you. Read this number sentence with me. 54 minus 30 equals, mm. well, we see this minus sign, which tells us that we're subtracting, which means we're taking away from our whole. 54 is our whole. 54 has five tens and four ones. And we wanna take away 30. Another way to think about taking away 30 is to take away three tens. Well, one way I could take away 30 is by counting back. So I could say 54, now let me take a 10 away, 44, 34, 24. <gasps> did you see what I did there? I started with 54 and I took three tens away. I counted back by 10. Say that with me. 54, 44, 34, 24. So 54 minus 30 is 24. One way that I can subtract is by counting back. This time I counted back by tens and I saw a pattern. Maybe you wanna write this pattern out for kids. Look, 54, 44, 34, 24. I counted back by 10. Well, let me tell you another way that I could subtract 54 minus 30. 54 is still my whole, so it still has five tens and four ones. And I'm still gonna take away 30, which means that I'm taking away three tens. So I could take my tens from my tens. Look, I took away three tens, and when I count up what I have left, I see that I have two tens and four ones. Or I could count 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So when I subtracted tens from tens, I also got 24. That's two different ways that I could subtract tens from a two digit number. First way is I can count back. Second way is I can take tens from tens. Just like we did yesterday, there were five tens. I took away three tens. There are two tens left. And then just lots of practice together. Really do think about how kids are gonna get cubes out here. Practice building that fluency with counting backwards by tens. Kids aren't gonna get better at it unless they practice it. And then invite kids to subtract tens from tens. 